In the 15th century, a revival of interest based on classical writings developed. This rebirth or renaissance of the classic culture also concerned classic theater. In 1486, a humanist academy in Rome began to stage plays in which they tried to reconstruct the features of ancient Roman theater. On this so-called Terran stage, named after the Roman comedy playwright Publius Terentius Ava, a polygonal building referring to the medieval stage mansions is placed. The actors came out of small gates with curtains, above which the name of their character was written. These gates might be one of the origins of the proscenium arc. At the back of the stage was perhaps a painted backdrop. Inspired by the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius, Serio designed three sceneries in which the just-discovered perspective was strongly visible. One scene for all comedies, also shown in an earlier video, one for the satires or pastorals, and one for the tragedies. The sceneries consisted of permanent side wings and a backdrop. Also, the ancient Greek might have used backdrops or painted panels, which they called pinakes. It might have looked like this. But perhaps these pinakes were, at some point, more like our nowadays cinemascopic screens. Triangular prisms, or periactoi, were already used in the 5th century BC and made it possible to change the scenery within a play or between plays. It could have looked like this. In Serio's whole theatre, changes of scenery were not possible. But in the Renaissance, people loved spectacles and all kinds of constructions were designed to make scene changes within the play possible. This formation is devised by Jacopo Vignola. The actors are now not playing in front of the scenery, the proscene, but within the scenery. Sceneries for grandiose spectacle plays for the court in Florence were designed by Bernardo Buontalenti. Buontalenti devised all kinds of stage machinery to accomplish special effects. the illusion and to hide the theatrical machinery, the stage was framed by an usually richly ornamented gate, the proscenium arc. 
a picture frame stage was born. Note the U-shaped orchestra. This picture shows an entreact or intermezzo during carnival in the court theatre of the Medici in Florence. The scenery is designed by Giulio Parigi. Possibly we see here the first permanent stage frame. From this court theatre in the famous Uffici building in Florence, only the entrance gates are preserved. For scene changes, ever more ingenious solutions were invented. Periactor are still used nowadays. Here we see eight periactoi in a row, at one side covered with mirrors. 